Caffarian Eagle. I take the rest of the way when you had your drink. It's a very erotic, exotic room. A very secret room, too. Secret? Because nobody knows it's here. Especially your wife. That's right. Here it's a special occasion. Keep it for special occasions like this. I roll. When you get got into the car, you knew we were going to get more than a lift in the town. True. I promise a drink. So far, I've been, I have been disappointed. I never allow anyone to be disappointed. Turn out the light, will you? Oh, you bet. Close your eyes. I'm going to surprise you. Oh, yes. Are you ready for this? Call a copy, is it? Well, I didn't examine the other body, but the description is certainly the same. Hot cut with a bill hook or card cutting tool, tone. Any sign the geezer was bent? Come on, photos, letters, cub, memberships, you think? It's a homosexual killing? You said there were signs of sexual activity, yes. You think a woman could have done that? Well, it's physically possible for a young, fit woman, someone in a normal state of mind. Is this one, Dallas Room, closed singles bar, hetero place. Find out if he was there last night. Who is it? Who he was? Who was he? Who was he with? Who his friends are? If he left them with anyone to keep it quiet, yeah. Well, last week I thought we were dealing with some kind of insane one-off. Now we got two of a kind, who might be one of the most beautiful we had ever had in the breakfast show. Natalie Bell, she published could spoil you. Could spoil you breakfast. To be warned, to be warned. Oh yes, she will enough. I found her out quite a lot about her. Her family even traced one of his living su- surviving members. How on earth did you manage to do that? I'm going to, I'm going to send a lot of your listeners out to see what they can find. Who cut out her lover's heart with a dagger? No, there's so much ripping yarns from my next guest. A Peter Rowley of the Henslow Mendesex. Hello, could you put me food to the production com- office, please? On this breakfast show, Detective Inspector Clifford, thank you. We're not releasing any details about the killings, but as you see, they're exactly the same as you describe in your book about the Countess. Well, I couldn't say exactly the same. Countess lived 300 years ago, I remember. Yeah, you said you traced her, one of her descendants. You decided to make runs in the family. I hadn't decided anything. So what do you want me to do? Introduce me to Miss Hesker. That's right. It'd be easy on her. If I, if there's someone here she knows, I'll call on her later this afternoon. She usually sleeps after lunch. Then we shall see. Let me give you some advice. Will you talk to Mrs. Hetzker? Don't do any talk. I won't be doing any talking. I'll be listening. No. You tell her the truth. I have become obsessed with this ancestor of mine. Why, God knows. I can't imagine a more monstrous woman. He seems to have been perfectly ornery, ran the mill countress until her husband went away to a hundred years' war. His head fell and I gave her baby eagle. I had to, I had to say, this is not all he gave her. So when the count returned, the falconer, not being courageous, man, fled to escape his vengeance. The countess, there's no such escape and much cruelty. He had her dragged on the dragged on the cart for the whole valley, displayed through all villages, where the head man gave her a ritual bow. And then, night by night, light the torches in front of assembled people, he branded with iron as adulteress. But the count did not even had not lost his desire for her. In fact, afflicting his cool humiliation seemed to have quickened it. He locked her up in the tower, but he could not keep away from her. Every night he visited her, she submitted him, silently and waited. Then one night she opened wide the shutters of the window of the tower, and the moonlight floated in a sleeping count. Then suddenly a shadow falls across him, a vast shadow. Into the room he's fully grown now, for a second he hovers over a sleeping man. There's a fierce rushing sound as a down swoop, the vicious beak. For a second, a split second, the count wakes before he dies, his heart ripped out by the eagle. So the countess now rules the whole valley. She goes out to the villages and she selects young men to be her lovers. Yes, she takes them back to the tower before the night is over. Each one of them dies, his right heart ripped out. And not until she's deaf, they discover all the bodies, 107 of them. Would you like more tea, Emma? No, thank you. 
Well, it's an incredible story. No, it's a matter of fact, it's not. Naturally, it's, if it, it, it had some currency, a part of the country, till the 1830s when people liked that sort of horror story, they published a book of Corinthian folk tales and translated in German, English, and so, which is now I came across it. Huh, Miss Henska? How many of your family now? In this, the family? Oh, I am the family. I am the Countess' last descendant when Lesla came to see me. Oh, family may not die out. I have but a grisly story you will continue. And no possibility. There's a, there's a cousin, a grandson. No, I have no grandson. I see, well, whatever. Been to generous experience uh, listening to you. I want, I don't want to tie you. It's very considerate you. I would, would like to call again sometime, if I may. Yes, yes, speak to Natalia. She will arrange it. I'll telephone you. Thank you. What are you going to do now? I'm going to drive you home. I mean, oh, well, you're a publisher. You're typing actually. Anyone. I might have a, seen the manuscript. Don't think it could be. Have I put the idea in someone's head? According to Miss Hesker, the last time story was current, the 1830s. Book hasn't been published, so it's, no, so it's possibly whoever wrote remote is alarming fault. Something I've written might have led to someone's death. Well, I said it's a remote possibility, but it's one I have to check. Take a cat. They're gone, I know. How do you cover it? Do they cover it? It's so beautiful. Sometimes I prefer not to see it. Take a cat. Well, are you going out? Because I have to have some work to do. My name's Andy. What's yours? I'm not interested. In names? What a beautiful voice. You know, you should be doing commercials for caviar. Oh, yes, yes. I never resist the challenge of dark glasses. Would you like to take me them off? Oh, there's no answer to that. There, I just bet myself a bottle of Benroom Cuftet. I would make you laugh. I won, and you've got to share it me. Oh, want references? Well, don't look now. I check the glamorous lady behind the bar. She's her owner's wife. To ask about Randy Andy. Arthur's and that you. Arthur's the name, Randy's the game. Look, I have to be careful. Okay. I'll tell you what I do. I'll go and get wait in the car. Leave it for ten minutes. And I'll come and join me. I parked in the mews, a red Porsche. Then, time of your life, sweetheart. Oh, yes, it's a tempting gift of things to come. Stay where you are. I'm on my way. I'll worry anything you say. Close your eyes, Randy. Uh, Andy, keep them closed now. Now your eyes closed to us, say. Now, actually, so, say, so lady leave, yes. I left with a gentleman. Ever seen her before? No, never. He's Detective Inspector Gifford. Miss Van Lilly was behind the bar over here. A fine, the killing could have been done by three different women. Scripts are never the same. Don't think it's possible. All right. It looked different, but it means a change of clothes. Well, it only means a change of clothes, a wig. It could be been a man, yeah. Yes, it could, but it's why that interests me. Why, what drives anyone to a particular kind of killing? Would you say, a kind of ritual element? A fact, they all seem to be identical, yeah. What, well, where did the ritual come from? Somewhere deep down in the conscious mind. What would about the conscious, unconscious mind? I'd write you in a cigarette paper. They'd better come and see my, my psychiatrist with me. Not for treatment, it's an old friend. Calls in for me now and then. You are helping with his problems. He helps me with my search. Or maybe, yeah. Maybe you can help with yours. Hmm. Just a personal unconscious. I mean, contains it burned, buried images and memories. Early stages of our lives. Great store material for early stages of life. Mankind is common to all of us, as, but that's why I can dream the same dream as Australian of origin. We all have died images of men, as animal folk gatherer, as well as a primary hunter, a dark side, a wolf within me, like an iceberg, an unconscious mind is nine fifths below the surface. Doesn't like, doesn't like their phonology. It suggests that unconscious is more some dark, destructive force lurking below the surface, waiting to sink. The unsuspecting Titanic of our aspirations. Isn't that what we're dealing with? As you're saying that. 
Are you trying to say that Miss Hesker is some kind of loyalty dracula, surviving but driving in the hearts of young men? Could it be possible that some traumatic event that happened a long time ago to emerge generations later, mm? being buried in unconscious, as if the family vault and then, under the right conditions, reproduced? I don't think so. I think you should resemble parallel case histories, think in terms of multiple personality. As someone who is intense and purposes, leads a fairly unremarkable life, yet who, in time, becomes a totally different person, characteristics, and wholly like his or her other self. In this case, murderous characteristics knows nothing of the other. There is one will not, will not evolve here. But as they say, that Wolf takes over. He sits on romantic imagery, Wolf takes over. In that case, in this case, Eagle, possibly. Then it would be useful to know more about the family background. My research notes of the family are pretty extensive. Would you like to read them? Yes. Yes, I would. You ought to be getting back. I, I could I'd possibly borrow them. They're with my typist just now. Oh, well, thank you for to- to- helping you, talking to you, Doctor. Thanks, Natalie. Help yourself to a drink, thanks. I will. Cliff, can you get some time off tomorrow? Tomorrow evening? About 6.30. I've been t- getting my notes back during the day. Oh, well, maybe we, we could meet for a drink, then get some dinner. All right, the pub with the garden. About 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. See you, 7. Is he still there? He left about 10, 21 minutes ago. Don't stay long. I've got the embassy checking it for me. We do f- When I find out, what they got, I'll be in touch. Roger Dodger. Dodge, I got what I need for, with, from the MC. I'll be there in half an hour. Roger Dodge. I'll still be in here. Did you get a good look at him? Better than that. I had a bit difficulty getting that one. Didn't he, did he see me? Do you know who he is? I've got no idea. Is that tea? No, it's coffee. That'd do. I suppose so, someone get the feeling Miss Hesker's not going to offer me a cup of tea today. Not an eagle in sight. I haven't found the right one yet. Now, you want to hear more stories of my family? And yes, as a matter of fact, the Russians with the help of the Russian English captain. I found myself a displaced person's camp. I tell you to tell me about my, your nephew. Your what nephew? I have no nephew, I told you. I lost the Countess family, except for Tadek. No, which Tadek? Who is Tadek? Tadek Kalitsky. No, I, no, I won't listen to you. He is a Kalitsky Theatre Company in Warsaw. They're having a successful tour of Eastern Germany. He managed to escape the West. He turned up in the country last year. You must go away, Miss Hesker. At her point in the night, I'm not going to help you either, one of you. Don't think he suffered enough persecuted by if, 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 if redeem of Marcus bullies. You cannot help being what he is. Yes, he escaped. But he's still surrounded by him thinking people do not stand what he's doing. Well, that's why I have not disclosed his presence. I mean, that's enough for prosecution. Tedek is an artist, as much as he must be free to express himself. And how exactly does he do that? How I, how I wish that it was the same with you. Wouldn't get much better. Things won't get much better, I suppose. Shouldn't feel this way by that's how I f- go with poor and lucky me. That's not the way it's got to be. So tell me, what can I do? Guess I've got things... Got a thing about you, Mr. Tadok Krasinski. Idiots. I would like to ask you a few questions. Now listen, all I want to know or do is have a chat. You should have said you were police. You might have lost my, your temper. I'm sorry. I thought you were a spy. Or a journalist. I'm glad I'm not. I suppose you are from immigration. How did you find me, auntie? I, my aunt would not, be, would not be giving me away. I promise I wasn't trying to get you deported. No, no. More serious than that, I'm investigating murder. Females, in fact. Where were you when it happened? When they happened? So, I'm a suspect. Now, don't excite it. I'm only routine. Come on, Tadek. Don't be temperamental. I'm not temperamental. I'm really sick of being... I, what I am is sick of being hunted and sued. Persecuted, I understand. Things aren't easy for you. Ali told me about your problems. I said I'd try and help. Straighten things out with the immigration people. You did? Why not? I'm not in the business of making it difficult, life difficult. People don't see ton with ton need encouraging. You're very good out there. Thank you. I'm not much ki- used to kindness from officials. You have to help, do have help, of course. I was working most nights these last weeks. I was in full, I have a very full date book. 
Why are not working? I'm staying with my aunt. She will know. She will know how. She will how. She will how do you say prove this? Yeah, well, we're going to have to do better than that, aren't we? Maybe the best thing would be to come to my office tomorrow at the police station. If I give you time to remember exactly what you're doing over the last three weeks, where you're out of town and working on whatever, are there names of people who saw you, contacts, and that sort of thing? Can you handle that? Yes. What's that that way? And remember, make sure that you don't, they don't, just as long as you show up tomorrow morning. I remember and still make sure that you don't, just as long as you turn up tomorrow morning. I'll be there, good boy. How do you get on? Better of vocation. What, what we have, Queenie? You're taking, in, you're thinking Keisha's old son, terrorists of the heart of the lad. He's also nervous. He's also, but easy, the eager woman, or do what you believe, auntie. Don't just form into no mem- number. Don't have a major number. I don't know who's watching the house. DJ Wilson. All right, take it over. Make sure Tedrick doesn't know he's being followed. Are you liable to? Let's fly with his ha- let fly with his handbag. Stop being funny, Sergeant. I n- now stay out of sight, or you're in trouble. Got trouble. Excuse me, madam. I'm trying to find the Heathcliff Gallery. You passed it. If you make a U turn here, you see it on the left, about a hundred metres back. It's awfully little kind. But I must be honest, the gallery is a pretext. I certainly had to speak to you. Oh really? Yes, truly. I know it's very sexist to intrude on my lady's privacy. Just because he's beautiful. But can I say I come to command myself to you? Wait, what do I can say to come myself to you? I'll tell you which and live five minutes away. What is it? What is this? A proposal? A proposition is a word, I think. Why, you, why don't you drop around for a cup of tea? I'm an L living next door. A very respectful neighbourhood. I won't let, uh, don't let me down. A moment I clapped my eyes on you. I said to myself, I must have that girl, whatever it costs, I'm busy. I won't get a, any better offer this afternoon, my love. You're probably right. You don't live here then? Not exactly, no. I'm borrowing it for my friends. Jolly pretty though. Is it? I've given servants that even off. Sheriff is having tea with his mother-in-law. So you won't be disturbed. Are you getting ready? Come and get me. I want, to lie, I want you to lie down, close your eyes. Are you going to be strict with me? I'm going to surprise you. Close your eyes. Now are you ready for this? Yes. Please don't touch me. I'll give you anything you want. Take the money. Take everything you want. Everything's in storage statement checks. I set the time he was up with Mrs. Hedrick. Uh, with no way he, could have fa- he would find out if he uh, was there or not. Only one of the killings happened when he said he was at the auntie's. He never, she said, she never left the house. Do you think the fairy's been looking shaky? Well, fairy, I'll call it in to let you know where I am. It was till ten on, uh, it's still one and ten on you, you? Yeah, doesn't leave us with anything though, does it? Is it time to go public release the details? No, it's going to, pl- can't play this down. It'd be big news, big news. Next time you pick up a beautiful girl, don't take her home. Bring her up here. Let's keep it to ourselves as, for as long as we can. Better call the police, sir. Don't think that you'll bother with that, Rowley. After all, she didn't exactly take anything. They are only asked a lot of boring questions. Besides, I want to run, I don't want to risk the risk of saving my wife. She got to hear about it. Still pretty serious, sir. I meant to be, she must be loony. Well, we mustn't, we want, we just don't want the Thompsons to know been entertaining loonies in their absence. Listen, uh, live over there. Do you fancy coming over for some coffee? Why not? What about, what's this all about? Is, is it, is it, is, what's, what's it all about? Is it, is it, I mean, fancy you, I mean, you fancy me. Why does, what, well, why mess that out? Come on, I'll carry your bag. Hang on, you see? Who are you careful about, my lady, landlady? Got a bit of thing about visitors. Come on, tone. I'll be home the rest of the evening. If you need me, okay, right away. No side of park. It's another one. On my way, Cliff. Hello. I saw that last night. Come in, won't you? I've got to keep involved in what they're doing yesterday. What was that? We searched for a new book. It wasn't research, really. Just think about a story and how we're going to tackle it. It's always like that. I'm afraid once I get an idea for a story, it seems to take over my whole life. Well, I was a bit surprised when you didn't turn up, but then 
I thought maybe you you said yes to be polite. Wouldn't do that. Very clear about yes and no. That's good. Now oh, you're here. So you're here. To stay for dinner. Oh well, I'll come straight from work. Oh, Cliff, you don't have to get changed. There's a bathroom. Help yourself. You can read my notes on the Countess fam on the Countess family. As an offer, I can't refuse. Do you want help? No, you carry on. I'm just going out for something. I do you to drink. I'll get it. No, I wouldn't. It won't take a minute. The shop's only in the high street. Tell you what you want. Go on, risk it. If you get lost, I'll grant a policeman some white wine. Some white wine? Roger to dodge. It's Mar Marlin? Mar Mar Morgan with you? Yeah, I've done everything you said. Everything else? No. No, that'll do. Are you ready, darling? Close your eyes. Stand still, Natalie. Just stand still. Go on, Morgan. Search her. I'm sorry about this. It's the only way. We know enough about the kings. They have figured out the way she works and when... You don't turn, didn't turn up yesterday? That fellow was killed? Well, you had to be the number one suspect clean. Would you like me to make some tea? Yeah, that's no. Well, thanks. God, that's over. Look, Natalie, don't speak to me. Don't look at me. Get out of here, all of you. I suppose you think that you can justify this with some official jargon or warrant. What happened to me in this, and it was filthy. I was like being raped. Don't say that. You don't want to hear it, do you? You're not, you're just doing your job. I don't want to do this, but there is no way I could avoid it. Am I your self sacrifice, Inspector? Look, don't bother to say that you're sorry, because it doesn't really matter. Hey, she's really giving you a hard time. Still, we've got some, your proof now. Yes, yeah, see, you hoped it wasn't her. So you know it isn't. So goodbye to uh, forever now, huh, is it? Hello. What's now? Are you listening to me? I want you to explain. I don't need. Pretty, I need to understand perfectly. Suspect, I was a smart cop playing me along. That's not how it was. I knew it, it couldn't be you, but I just, it, I'm not, but I'm not just me. I'm in charge of investigation. I needed proof. You need to find the most broad way to get that, your proof, didn't you? I want, I don't want that to be like, I didn't want it to be like this. Uh, I don't like to run the risk of spoiling our relationship, but sometimes I have to take risks. All right, you d took the risk. What? I And I want... And what? Are you pleased to call your relationship is spoiled? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be spiteful. I'm heading back at you. Do you have the time to talk it somewhere? Be amazed you have. I'm taking the, making the time. That's this is important, yes. You see, there's a car's over there. Why don't we drive you home? Look, look, I've got a better idea. Why don't I invite you to my place and make you some lunch? I'm ace cook. May I impress you? I have some shopping to do. Give me an hour. I'll be there. You seem different. No, I was simply directed. So not to be angry anymore. Good, the dice too short. Shouldn't waste our time. What do you think? I think that we could we'll eat later. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean later? Just one second. What are you doing? I've got to call in. I don't know. I, don't, I can't do it now. If you don't do it now, I think it may never happen. Have you no sense of occasion? No, I want to surprise you. you never stop surprising me. I won't be long, Natalie. I'm almost ready. Close your eyes. They're closed. I'm on my way. Keep your eyes closed. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's good for you to come after all that business in your flat. Cliff had a job to do. I wish you had been more understanding. I thought perhaps maybe he would have tried to phone you. But things, put things right. Perhaps he meant to. I don't know. Now the story's out, we've got a hundred crazies. Dave phoning and saying they were eagle woman. How did Cliff find her? I wonder. He didn't tell you. No. Well, kept himself. Went off on his own. First time he ever done that. Well, go and see to the lads. Here's a, some journalist scum. He got hold of a photograph of her. So the television. So, thanks. He saw her face on the screen. Story come out. She got obsession, obsession. There's some kind of reincarnation of countenance. She so didn't even try to fight her sleep. Because you think she walks in her sleep and kills. And that's why she, I have to stay with her. I'm looking after her now. What, do you, what else can I do? 
Oh, I had some spectacular offers. A tour of the States with my own show, Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. Some producer tried to force me to accept. I break his head. Auntie, auntie, I've got to visit her. It's all right, it's all right. You haven't moved from your, your chair. You won't have, you, you've been there here all the whole time. Of course I have. Don't worry. Say hello to Natalie. How are you? Miss Hesker. What have you, what have you done? You and I? Nothing, nothing. You're upset because of the news. Of course you are. But you have done no one any harm. You didn't choose your own sister. But you chose me. She lives in me. What am I to do? It's just your imagination. You've been on your own too long. With too many gloomy thoughts. But now you have Turkura to take care of you. You're feeling much better, believe me. Natalie, stay away. Stay with us. Even for a few days, it'd be so good to have your company. We could become real friends. I like to Tadarek. I began researching my new book. It's going to make me take me a long way away. I think she's make an interesting subject. Well maybe she wasn't wasn't a sister, just one of the nurses. Do you ever see her? No, she's before my time. Well you that would have been nineteen thirty something. Mind you, my old governor saw her. She saw her all night saw he saw her all night. He used to look look like Used to flaunt her body, kind of thing, when she was up close to them rich old boys. I wonder some of them didn't have a heart attack because they, they asked her to come to the room. She always said, No, wait until you leave. She said, When well, you take me, and then take, you can take me to the flat where those rich old boys was kind, set up a girl in love nest somewhere, so you were no trouble. She got them eating out of her hand, as I so to speak. Buying her fur coats, cars, and diamonds, and all that. When they stay out to look around, I, I for a bit something new. She strangled him, him, the silk scarf. Are you going to do a television about her? A book, actually. I think you should make it an interesting subject, don't you? Well, it's not too much of a job of a lady, but there are. But there, there you are. Not for throttling. No, was it was throttling all those old boys. She wasn't a sister, just one of the nurses.